There currently there are two bills. Uh, we've separated it to uh, collective bargaining uh, unit employees to non-collective bargaining unit employees. Um, essentially, all employees who have an accumulated sick time today, constitutionally, it's their property right to keep what they have today. Uh, I think the governor understands that, uh, the legislature understands that, so just to be clear, everybody what they have today is what they have. What we're trying to do is try to amend what people will be getting in the future. So for the non-collective bargaining employees, uh, these are the employees, as we've heard on 101.5 on many occasions and on other stations as well and in the newspapers, that where, where there's some egregiously large payouts, millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars being paid out to some of these employees. Miraculously, they don't, they don't ever take a sick day during their, their tenure within the state employment. Um, what we're doing with that particular bill is what they have today is what they have going forward, zero. Um, and the other bill, basically, we preserve collective bargaining. What we believe important is preserving of collective bargaining. But we're starting off at a floor of zero. So if, if, a, if, a, if a negotiation happens out there, they can have zero as well. Um, but we're putting a cap on it at 7,500, so anywhere between a zero and a 7,500. And because a lot of these employees have been felt in their, in their pocketbooks for their health care benefits and going forward, um, all of this will be put towards health care benefits. There will be no check given to anybody past what they have today. Again, no check, no payouts to anybody past what they have today.